Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg back again, like I said to you on the end of update 3 that I'd start doing the, um, the paint work I'll show you how well I'm going to do with it I'm going to do an, uh, a night shift sort of distressing technique hopefully, well, we'll certainly find out, we'll have a go at it so all paints I'm going to use are the light colours See if I can show you them. These ones are US, US Olive Drab Live Colour. They've got quite a, a varying shades of, uh, of paints, which is perfect for the, for, need, for the needs that I need to have. So I've actually mixed up a little batch, and the first one I've used is um, Faded Olive Drab Type 2. Where are we going? Where are we are? Which is UA224. So that's what we're going to start with. I've mixed a, a small amount up. So we'll, uh, we shall give it a whirl. Let's see how we get on. Let me just give it one more stir in the little pot that I made it in. So what I basically is need enough 50-50, only quite an opaque layer the first one. So we'll give it a go. Right, so let's have a go and can we see where we are? Yeah, it's off now. I'm gonna slide the opaque layer, so just you know, as you normally would do. This is going on quite nicely. I put a couple of uh, air, a couple of drops of air for a little bit air for the airbrush air fillers in there just to make it flow better. Airbrush flow, whatever it's called. So you don't want to stay here me doing this all day, so what we'll do is I'll pause this and when I get back to it, when it's done, I'll get back to you. Right, we're back again. Let's get this camera sorted. It's dropping for some reason. There we go, that's better. Yeah, so we've got the uh, overall body covering that light fairy stuff and it goes down really well you see you've got the nice with the texture with the we put on with the glue is coming through nicely so that's a good coverage what we need and required we've got the turret done as well we can get it off this bloody stand Bloody broken my machine gun. Never mind, I'll mend it. Um, yeah, so we've got the turret done as well. You can see with the texture again on the top and around the sides. Nice coverage again, it goes down really well. I've used their own thinners, life colour thinners as well, so it, it's um, worked really nicely. So, what we're going to do now is leave this to dry um, and then we're going to give it two coats of hairspray. So what I'll do is, um, once it's dry, I'll give it two coats of hairspray, and then we'll come back and we we'll, shall do the next coat. So it won't be long. It should be uh, moving along nicely now. I'm getting to the uh, almost getting to my favourite part, the weathering. So once the hairspray is done, and <coughs> we'll come back and we'll put the other coat of paint on. So we'll see you in a bit. 
Right, we're back. We've got that uh, first coat down, which is the faded olive green too. And now we're going to start with the. Um, I said the hairspray, sorry, my apologies. Give you two coats of hairspray. And it's obviously dry now, so we're going to use the second coat. Now we're going to use uh, another life colour again. It's the U U219, which is USA Olive Drab 1803. Sorry. There we are, 1803. And the life colour again from the set. So I'll lay it down again with their own thinners, which is their own, own brandy thinners, which is this stuff. Life colours, acrylic thinner. Now I've got the airbrush ready. This time I don't want it too, too heavy, if you know what I mean. Too, oh no, wait a minute. Now then, now then, now then, now then. Yes, it's all right. I'm just talking loud to myself. I nearly forgot after I painted it and chip um you know, after I painted this and we're gonna paint it and chip it after that. My apologies, let me get this right. Right, for the start. You, the this is the faded uh, olive green two. It had two coats of hairspray. I'm now going to add another coat of the olive green and then I'm going to give it a coat of um satin satin finish all over to protect what we've done and then we're going to start again i think that's right i'm confusing myself right let's give this a bit of a stir i thought i got the brush ready for this but uh what's kind of done These little bottles that my, my daughter got me years ago are brilliant to keep painting. Fortunately, she doesn't work out anymore now, so I have to be careful how many I use. Alright, so let's, let's start. So we're just going to more of a, a thinner coat this time and in a regular shape as well. I'm sure it won't be hard to see what's going on, but. Off the camera. Blob of paint there. Let's just move that piece of paper. I want to sit that down. Excellent shot. Yeah. You have to make sure that 
it's okay, but a thin layer of it, if you know what I mean. You don't want it too thick, otherwise it'll never chip. You'll be there all week trying to chip it. So just keep it light and opaque at the same time. I'm just going around these small, small circles. That's all I'm doing. You can see if the camera will pick it up, the actual set the um, He's using the um, Tamiya Fin, it's got a great uh, cast texture. Not a cast, a rolled steel texture, apologies. We're only talking over the... the uh... Maybe it's underneath here. Oh, it's cloudy. Mm. I must have been bothered about the bottom, but I can... I put no um, air spray on the bottom. Then just finishing the paint off so I'll use it all up. As you can see I've stuck a bit of Tamiya tape over the uh, fixing bracket for the wheels so they don't uh, oops sorry again Put on. Right, so I think that'll do it. Put a bit more on there, sorry. Same the same. More than that. I'm going to do the back. Yeah, I didn't. Right. So what we'll do with that now is we shall leave that to um, to dry. And when it's dry I'll come back and we'll do some chipping. So back in a minute. Right, <coughs> it's dry now, so let's uh, have a go at this chipping. So all I've got is a clean brush, some clean water, and a container, a stiffish brush, not too overly stiff, but just enough I think. And a nice smooth brush, flat brush for the uh, applying of the water. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of water. Do bit by bit, and we'll see what happens. Okay, shouldn't need any much pressure to do it. Very subtle. But bear in mind, this is only the first, the first of three. Okay, well, I'll come off that straight away. Doesn't matter if it comes off like that. Because like I say we've got um is that a hair on there? Hmm. I can get that off. As you can see, we're starting to chip. You don't need you know, massive chips, just enough to keep you I'll do this and do the hole. See straight away it works. Just 
doesn't matter if it comes off in big chunks because you're going to cover it over again and you know you're going to get all these different effects underneath I don't know if you can see, you can't quite see that, can you? It's very subtle. Look at the hair off there. Oh, there's two hairs on there. Where's my tweezers? No, I'll leave it to dry, so otherwise I'm going to scratch it too much. Maybe I'll get it off. Right, try again. A bit more water. I think some of it's coming off already. Yeah, even back with this brush, actually. Right, so we've got that sort of effect on it. Some of them are a bit large, but then again, you're gonna I'm gonna cover them over with the next lot of uh, spraying as well, so it's not it's not a problem. Um, so I've used air spray. I don't have any chipping fluid, so maybe chipping fluid might be better. But it's working. It's I'm quite happy how it's going. So this is hey, this is only the first the first coat. So what I'll do is I'll, is I'll carry on off camera and carry on chipping this until it's all done, and then I'll come back to you and show you what it's like before we do the next sort of things with it. So this is Greg signing off and we'll see you very soon. Right, back again. So I've given this a coat of hairspray, uh, two coats of hairspray again, and it's this sort of effect we've sort of got from the first layer. You see? Chips are a little bit bigger, but obviously you're gonna you're gonna cover these up with paint again. So you're gonna get a th you know like different different scratches, different colours coming through. So what I'm going to do next now is I'm now going to paint it with a second coat, which is a Chikaki olive drab, and again it's a life colour. I'll show you the actual the oil that I've mixed. It's the life colour um, US Army Khaki olive. There we go. Olive drab, 1802, or I think it was like this way, which is UA221. So that's what I've mixed and I've used their, their thinners again, if you need enough 50-50. So let's give this a coat. Um, again, don't want it too opaque. I just want it nice light. Not, you know, not heavy, heavy coating. I'm going to follow the lines around and dust things around and cover up some of the bits that I'm not happy with. So, let's go. Again, again, just have a little cloudy cut, cloud. So just the nice shift take cloud patterns. Too much pressure, I think, on that.
Obviously I'm not going to chip underneath here like I said, this is just using the uh, getting the colour used on. May as well make it darker down there which I should have done in the first place really. But let's just check the needle. That's all right. Right, quite happy with that. I think that's all I'm going to do on that. So what we want to know is we'll leave that to dry. We'll leave that to dry and then we'll come back with the um, water and we'll chip again. Let's knock that compressor off. Let's drop yourself in here. Yeah, well what I'll do is leave that to dry now and then we'll come back again with some more with the water and brushes and we'll start chipping on these parts. So we're back again very soon. Right, we're back. This is dried now, so we'll get the, uh, the two pet brushes again. As last time a soft brush, we'll just put the water on and a slightly harder brush to the chip. So, we will start. Let's just make sure you can see what we're going on. We'll just start to do a little bit on the front first. Right, so we'll just start. Light chipping. And if you can see, the camera can pick that up. I'm not 100% sure, but bit glossy at the moment obviously with the uh, water being on there but I can see the different variations and small chips on the uh, on it as well so let me just do this down here and again you can need to start straight away second ah, sorry about that just a quick phone call right let's go back to the chipping so where were we at let's try it on the uh, this bit of cast texture around here and then again just a firm little brush just dab it around and see you're happy with what you've got not what I've got you know whatever effect you are desiring you uh, can achieve you can see from the front now it's dry you got that sort of um, 
keep it in the fire. See, I've got one more coat to put on this one. I'm going to go back to the lightish one on the, uh, on the uh, last coat. But yeah, he's coming out quite nice. Quite quite pleased with that. So what I'll do now is I say I'll just carry on doing this, and then uh, I'll just do this strip along here. You don't need a lot of water, and then just chip away to your heart content like so so what I'll do is I say I'll carry on doing this off camera and when it's um, finished when it's finished I'll uh, show you the result I'll I'll give it its um, satin coat first as well before I show you what's happening but yeah so I'm quite pleased with that so we'll see you very soon right that's done and we've uh, let her dry and I've given her another coat two coats of hairspray and sorry before that I apologize after we finish yesterday with the chipping, I um, give it another coat of uh, satin, satin coat, leave it to dry overnight, and now we're going to, after two, put my teeth in. I've also now put two lower layers of hairspray on, so we're going to go for the next colour, which is going to be the US Army Olive Drab 319, which is UA20, sorry, 2220 that's another obviously part of the life color set so let's have this a go let's see where we are there we go so I'll show you what happened on the other one we can see a bit shiny at the moment obviously we're having the um, the satin coat on so yeah you know we've got nice some nice effects some of that I'm not happy with but we can cover them up that's not a problem but some I'm happy with so let's start Let's start on the side this time for the change. I've got the pressure right down, that's why. Silly man. There we go. There again, you don't want it too opaque. And again, you just want to, otherwise you're going to hide what you've actually achieved to start with. Whoop, it's worth a time off thing now. What to do by hand. Right, <clears throat> so we'll now leave that to dry and then we can come back and uh, do the chipping on this one and see what kind of result we get off that. So I'll just break signing off and we'll see you in about 5 or 10 minutes. Well, for you, it'll be instant, but for me, 5 or 10 minutes. Right, back again. I have to apologise, I forgot to video the last chipping part of it. You see me put the paint down, uh, so I did the chipping on this and you can see with the... Uh, it's quite a nice, a bit shiny obviously with all the uh, air spray and the satin coats on. But once it's dulled down it, it'll look a lot better. You see the, uh, the chipping and little bits and pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the last coat on. It's going to be a light coat which is going to be a faded olive drab 2. We used the first one so we're going to use the last one just as it's cloudy in sort of parts that I can chip again. And we're going to use this one here which is... US Olive Drab Faded 2, 1802, and the front number is 
224 out of the kit, out of the, uh, the paint set. So, without further ado, see I've already, oops, I've already sprayed, uh, sorry, already mixed what I need and I've labelled it. Let's fill my airbrush up. I just should sort the, uh, the pressure out. I don't need a lot. I'm not going to go all over it. I'm just going to go over certain little parts that I need. And it's only going to be very, very, very thin. Almost like, well, not quite translucent, but you're not far off. So, let's put a lot in. I don't need a lot in, so. See, I've always, oh, sorry, I should have said, I've asked to give this a coat of hairspray again. It's had two coats of fine hairspray. Just the uh, cheap uh, pound shop brand. Seems to work for me. Right, so let's crack on then. So all I need to do really is, can we still see where if I uh, take this away? I'm just going to go around. It'll be difficult for me to. So, yeah, so it's cloudy because I'm on the recent surfaces more than anything. And again, we're just going to go on top of the... Um the fuel and... Water. Oop, a bit too much there, but it's not And again, just along the uh, engine deck, the back there. I must have bothered about this beer and I just realised it's going to be um, storage is going to be on the back of there so I'm quite happy with these sides I just mainly want the top where the sun is down more direct on it um, yeah so a bit more in there even though this is going to be probably covered up with a turret and this is just going to be a little just going to go over the tops that's all not really a coat, just picking out little bits and pieces that I'm, I want to highlight a bit more. So I think that's about it really. I can't think of, uh, can't see anywhere else that needs it. So we've just got the, um, you know, we're on the risen, risen portions of certain parts. Let's just a little bit in there. Again, and then what we'll do, we'll leave that to dry and we shall chip it. And what I'll do is I'll come back, I'll, I'll chip it off camera, it's only a little bit to do. So then I'll give it another um, satin coat and where I'm going to put the decals I shall give it a gloss coat and then we'll come back and I'll, uh, I'll put the decals on and then we can move on to the uh, the next step of the, um, the weathering process. So this is Greg signing off and we'll see you soon. Uh, well actually, could I do this bit now? Yeah, so we could, we'll call this the end of the painting process and... We'll do another update starting with the um, from when I put the decals on, and then we're starting off on the on the weathering part. So we'll call this the end of update four, I believe. I think it's four. So I so say thank you very much for uh, for joining me at the bench, and hopefully my bad camera work and bad explanations, uh, you can sort of see what I'm trying to do. Um, Thank you to all my subscribers, new and old, and again, thank you very much for tuning in. All stay well and stay safe in this strange time we live in. So, it's Greg signing off, and we'll see you again with the weather on update 5.